Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabansu, and welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we give you guys a fresh perspective on things that might we've seen. I say we got a very serious show for you guys. Before we get into it, uh, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. There's a beef that's been going on uh, over the last 36 to 48 hours between Shannon Sharp, <coughs> excuse me, and comedian. Mike Epps, what happened? Um, Monique recently went on Club Seishi and she said what he did. She stirred the pot as well, got people talking about it, but mainly centered on drama. Then Mike Epps does a stand up bit where he essentially says that Shannon Sharp tried to reach out to him to come on his show, um, but he turned him down because he didn't want him staring at his private region. Just cracking jokes, right? And I think, to be fair, I think he used that as. He said Shannon called him. I think it was part of the joke to make it funnier because you've heard a lot of comedians say that. Like, I remember the time so and so, or they called me about, um, 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 you know, like I heard Dick Gregory make certain jokes, but it's not true. He's just saying it as a joke. Like, so I get that. But nevertheless, Shannon Sharp caught a whiff of those comments and he, he, I mean, he, it totally ignited a fuse, um, in him, causing him to absolutely go off on his show, Nightcap with um chad johnson and he took it to the point where he was even th threatening to physically assault um mike epps when he saw him so for those of you who didn't hear what he had to say want to quickly play what shannon sharp had to say here before we get into mike epps comments take a listen to what shannon sharp had to say here and this one I, i'm gonna fire this shot over your head mofo and you will know exactly who i'm talking about yeah mention my name mention my name again yeah and i'm gonna put the dms I'm gonna put I'm and I don't like doing this. Yeah. But you're lying. See, and yeah. I don't care about all that other stuff. You can say I'm gay and you can say I'm I don't care about that. Because yeah. I won't chase a lot, but yeah. I won't let you lie on my name. Yeah. Now you can say all that other stuff. I can deal with that. Mm -hmm. I don't look, I heard that a thousand times. Yes, Just sir. like everybody jumping in the chat talking about, oh, he don't like number white women. Right. I done dated a lot of different races. Yeah. Hey, listen, you like Skittles now, you eat every color. Come on, talk to me now. No, I don't Come eat. On. I don't eat now. I don't eat or suck. You they know, all you, do you, all that. You, you know what I mean? That's why I say Skittles. At. Skittles. Okay. Okay. Stay. I'm, I'm with you. You know, what I, mean? I look at Ocho. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah I'm telling. Yeah. I'm, te I'm telling you this, and I want you to, and I want somebody to send it to you. And y'all been, I've been seeing it in the chat. Y'all yeah. know who I'm talking about. I don't know who you talking about, say, but I'm with you. I'm a, nigga. Say I'm, my name what? again, and I'm gonna put the, I'm a, and I'm gonna release the DM because yeah. you're lying. Yeah. You said I reached out to you to come on Club Shay Shay, and you a mofo lie. Now, when I, I see you, yeah. I'm going to see you. I'm going to see if you're about that. Okay. I'm going to see if you want to say what you've been saying on yeah. trying to get some jokes because yeah. you got mad because Cat Williams did what he did. Now, yeah. now when I see you, yeah. I'm going to see if you really about that. Yeah, and when I when I, when I see you, nah, I'm going to see No, 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 no. I'm going to see if the, him talking all that yeah. when he wore them tight-ass leather pants trying yeah. to be funny. Yeah. But I'm going to see if you're about that. Yeah. Say my name again. Say, now man, be and, hey, so and, be like yeah. Destiny Child and talk about say my name, say my name, and I yeah. got some for your ass. Okay, I'm lost. I'm lost, but I'm with you. And whoever whoever you talking about it, we go, we go. What? Yeah, yeah. I'm with like I said, yeah. all that. All for first of all, them saying I'm gay and this and that. It ain't affecting my bottom line. I'm, I'm gay. I've been happy for for years. It don't. It ain't affecting my bottom line. Now, if it'll start to affect my bottom line. Right. And I'm gonna see. I'm gonna make y'all put. I'm gonna put you. Make you put your cards on the table. Yeah, it ain't gonna that's be no I'm flush either. You ain't gonna. You ain't I'm gonna make you no put flush. your cards on the table. But that don't bother me. Is that you lied, and you didn't have to. Say your little joke. Get your little laugh off. Have fun, but just don't lie and said I said something right. when I didn't. And you know who you are, mofo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm calling you a mofo. Now yeah. when I see you. Boy, I promise you, I'm gonna pull up. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna we, pull up, and yeah. I'm gonna see if you bought that. Cause yeah. I'm, I'm about it with you. Me too. As soon as now, I get on probation, y'all know I don't. Like I said, I stay to myself, Ocho. Anybody yeah. tell you I got, out of, I got, I'm not, and I never, and I said it. I said when people say, "Man, that's not like Shannon," that's exactly who Shannon was. Mm -hmm. I let my guard down. Right. I'm gonna see you. Yeah, I don't know what we talk about. I'm gonna see you too. Let me take my glasses. I'm off. gonna see you. So you heard his comments. Fantastic. Shannon puts out those comments. Yesterday we put out a show and we expressed our views. I'm going to reiterate our views at the end of this particular show. So what happens? 
Mike Epps, then obviously here's what Shannon Sharp has to say. And he decides to go on social media to respond to Shannon Sharp um, by basically saying, if you want to take it to the physical level, no problem. No problema. Do you want to take it to the physical level? We can go there. But it may not turn out the way that you want it to go. So for those of you who didn't hear what Mike, Ep Mike Epps had to say about Shannon Sharp, take a listen to what he had to say in response to Shannon Sharp here. Wait a minute. Now, I know Shay Shay. I don't know what grown man <laughs> got a name named Shay Shay, but I know this grown man is not mad at me. So many people talk crazy about you. They was on Saturday Night Live talking about you, imitating you, but now you want to fight me? Now, I'm not going to lie. I did DM you to get on the show. But I DM'd you to get on the show because you brought my name up when you were sitting there with Cat, and you was trying to get him to talk crazy about me, but he didn't, okay? Now, second of all, talking about pulling up on me, you're gonna be an all-star, I'm gonna be at the all-star in my hometown, and I'm gonna see you, all right? I'm gonna see you, brother. And I'm just letting you know, I don't be doing no fighting lately. I don't do no fighting. So, you know, there's only other one other option. If you don't fight, you do blank. Blank, 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 blank. And Ocho, you shut up and go get some eyebrows. You looking like a whole milk dust sitting there agitating. We watched the white boy kick your ass on TV. So you shut up. And Shay Shay, you did look like Medea sitting there. You was looking zesty. I'm not saying you gay, but you was looking zesty. You look like Big Frida sitting there. You need to take them tight shirts off with the muscles. And that's it. <laughs> Go check out my special February the 20th on Netflix. February 20th on Netflix is called I'm Ready to Sell Out. Because being a real dude ain't making no money right now. So you heard Mike Epps' comments. What are my thoughts about this? Well, yesterday when we produced the show, I spoke about the fact that how we as black men need to find a way to be able to deal with issues before it gets to a physical level and all of that. We have to find better conflict resolutions to deal with tricky situations before it escalates to this point. Shannon Sharp got pissed off at Mike Epps. I understand why he got pissed off. I totally get it. But to then threaten to physically harm the guy, you're in your 50s. Number one. Number two, and this is what's being lost in all of this. Shannon has to understand the position that he is in. He's one of the biggest voices in sports media in the world. Right? Which means that there's a lot that comes with that. There's a lot of people, corporate interests that are tied to Shannon Sharp. And you don't want to blow that because some because you lose your temper in the moment. It happened at the Grizzlies game. It cost him his job at FS1. This is something that Shannon Sharp admitted on his show. The altercation he had with those Grizzlies players, FS1 said we cannot abide by this. Um, and it cost him his job. Now, he was able to get lucky, not lucky, he worked hard, he's talented and all of that, but he was able, he was fortunate enough to find himself in a situation where where now he's bigger than ever before. But there's something we need to we need to understand. Shannon Sharp is now connected to who? ESPN. ESPN. And ESPN, you guys know, they don't, I mean, they don't tolerate any of this stuff. And now Shannon Sharp is in a situation where he's saying, I'll physically harm you and all of this. And now Mike Epps is saying, well, if you want to take it to that, we can take it to the, you know, to the, to the extreme level. You got to be aware of the fact that, bro, as fast as you got it, you could lose it. Over something that if you do lose it, you would sit back and say, was it really worth it? A quick snap moment decision has changed people's lives for the worst. There are a lot of people sitting in prison that they just lost it. They snapped for a few seconds and they made a decision that ruined the rest of their life. I can assure you there are hundreds of thousands of people like this all over the world. And as black guys, we need to figure out a way to deal with issues better. 
I'm going to say what's been on my mind and I got to understand it. I, it is bothering me and I got to talk about it. Why is it that we cannot have success without problems? Why is there always issues with black people? I'm not just talking about them. I'm talking about black people. There must always be issues. You have other groups that get in money, no problem. When it comes to us, we must always find a way to F it up. We must always start fighting ourselves. Do you know how many people in the media space and other groups are making bastard money every single day? And everybody gets along. If somebody doesn't like this person, highest they'll say, I'm not going to talk to them. And they go about their way. That is it. Full stop. When it comes to us, man, there's always got to be some bull and some drama. Always. No matter what, if it always, this is all over the world. I've lived in the States. I've lived in Africa. It is something I am. Wherever it is, we group ourselves. There's always problems. We just can't just all just get along, make our money, and everybody be happy. There must always be problems. Always. And it's so sad. And I'm a part of it. I'm not sitting here condemning or, or casting. I'm a part of it. I've also sat back and asked myself the question, but come, why? Why? That even if you're doing this and do now you find yourself fighting with this, but you find yourself like, like, why? We can't do better than this. Now it has to get to this level and this level. These are people with kids, children, which means that their kids are going to see. However I behave, my daughter is going to see it when she's older. If not for me, for my daughters, there's certain things you can't talk about online because of your kids oh man it's it's so sad you got these grown-ass men talking about i'm gonna do this to you and i'm gonna do that to you really is it that serious must it always escalate to this level so fast especially with ourselves this may offend some people i don't give a bloody damn i'm speaking my piece and how i feel this is a problem it's a problem. God forbid another brother's doing well and somebody else say, oh, it's going to be a problem. These are successful men. Why must it come to this level? Oh, my God, man. Somebody needs to step in and say, enough is enough. Like, enough is enough. Because what's going to happen is they're going to mess up the money. And then they're going to be sitting down somewhere a few months, years from now saying, what was that all about? Like, why did I do that? I'm, I'm not impressed by this. I'm not amused by it. The only reason we're touching on it is to share this message. We got to do better than this. So my thoughts, whatever you guys think, leave your thoughts in the comments. We catch you on the next show. Peace.